This video is going to give you an introduction to probability vocabulary and basic notation as it is used in STAT 200. First, I want to talk about some of the common examples that you'll see used in this lesson. These come up in the online notes and textbook. You can see them on the quiz as well. You will see problems dealing with rolling one die or multiple dice. This refers to a standard six-sided die. You will also see problems dealing with playing cards. Unless otherwise noted, this refers to a standard 52-card deck. There are four suits, spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs, and there are 13 different values. From low to high, there are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, jack, queen, king, ace. In this lesson, you learned a few new terms. An outcome is the result of one trial. An event is a particular outcome or collection of outcomes. And a sample space is the collection of all possible outcomes of an experiment. Let's apply these terms to the die and card examples. When rolling one die, the sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In other words, when we roll one die, there are six possible outcomes. Let's say that I'm playing a game and I'm in a situation where I really want to roll a 6. What is the probability that this event will occur? We would write this probability as p of 6. In other words, the probability of the event of rolling a 6. Given that this is a fair die, we would assume that the probability of rolling any value in this sample space is equal. Therefore, the probability of rolling a 6 would be equal to 1 over 6, because we know that there's an equal probability for all 6 possible events. What if we wanted to know the probability of rolling an even number? Now, the sample space could be written like this. There are two possible events. We could roll an even number, or we could roll an odd number. We would write this probability as p of even. Of the six numbers on the die, there are three even and three odd. The probability of rolling an even number is 3 over 6, or 0.5. Let's do an example involving playing cards now. In a standard 52 card deck, what is the probability that I would randomly select a spade? In this example, we're looking for the probability of pulling one particular suit. There are four suits in total, so the sample space would be defined as spade, heart, diamond, club. We're interested in the probability of selecting a spade. Of the 52 cards in the deck, there are 13 spades. Or we could also look at this and think that there are four suits that are evenly dispersed. So one in four cards is a spade. Either way, this reduces to 0.25. Let's look at a few more new terms from this week. Mutually exclusive and independent are two terms that we will use to describe the relationship between events. Mutually exclusive events are events that do not occur at the same time, also known as disjoint events. The Venn diagram here portrays events A and B as mutually exclusive. You can see that there is no overlap between event A and event B. These are events that never occur at the same time. For example, if you're drawing one card from a standard deck, the event of pulling a diamond and the event of pulling a spade are mutually exclusive. You cannot pull one card that is both a diamond and a spade. Those two events cannot occur at the same time, so they are mutually exclusive. Independent events are events that are not related. The outcome of one event does not impact the outcome of the other event. For example, if we rolled a die two times, the outcome of the first roll has no impact on the outcome of the second roll. That concludes this video. As you continue with the lesson, you will hear these terms again. You will learn some more advanced probability notation next, followed by probability rules and methods for checking for independence.